In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly decontaminate or sanitize your clothing. Specifically, I'm gonna sanitize this jacket that I'm wearing, and I'm tying this in with a video that I've just done on how to sanitize your money if you've just been shopping. I'm concentrating specifically on my jacket because my jeans can go in the wash. You are brushing up against a few things when you're out and about, so the first thing that I'm gonna do when I get home is take my jacket off, and I'm gonna spray rubbing alcohol over it to essentially kill any bacteria or viruses that I may have picked up along the way. I'm using 70% IPA because that is what the CDC and WHO recommend. 70% IPA or rubbing alcohol works by breaking down the cell wall of an organism and it dies which means that I can't con cross contaminate or I can't infect anything. With that being said there are one or two simple things that you need to bear in mind when you get home. Try not to touch anything until you disinfect your clothing. And indeed, if you've been keeping your wallet, keys, or anything else in your pockets that you've been touching with hands that have been opening doors, you'll want to disinfect inside the pockets too. So I'm gonna take the jacket off, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to disinfect it. You're only gonna need rubbing alcohol, a pair of gloves, and a clean cloth to do this. So let's get on with the sanitization. First thing I'm gonna do is take the jacket off and lay it down on the table. I'm then gonna go and wash my hands and put gloves on. Okay, so I've laid the jacket out on the table. I did this before washing my hands, so any bacteria or anything, any germs that I picked up on the jacket whilst I was out that may have transferred over to my hands, I've then gone and washed my hands after laying the jacket out on the table. So I'm gonna take my 70% rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna mist it over the jacket. Now, I mentioned that my wallet and keys had been in my pockets, so I'm gonna spray the rubbing alcohol into my pockets. I'm then gonna take my towel, and I'm gonna rub my jacket down. It's nice and easy to see areas that I need to work more on because they will be dry. And I can continue spraying the rubbing alcohol on the dry areas of the jacket. Basically continue with this until you've contacted every external surface on the jacket. I'm gonna turn my cloth just to get a fresh bit and I'm gonna wipe out the pockets too, just to take the excess rubbing alcohol out of them and make sure that the rubbing alcohol contacts all surfaces inside the pockets. If I'm feeling that I'm after picking anything up or I just want some peace of mind, I'm gonna spray the gloves down. And spray the rest of the jacket down. This is a little bit quicker and easier than taking the jacket and putting it into the washing machine and gives you some peace of mind that the jacket is clean for the next time you want to wear it. Okay, my jacket is now dry, the solvent has evaporated and I'm satisfied that my clothing has been sanitized. One thing that I didn't mention at the start of the video is that when you're working with solvents, please be careful, make sure the area is ventilated and for the love of God, don't smoke. I'm trusting that you're all rational, responsible adults watching these videos, so please be mindful that when you're working with solvents, they are dangerous and due care must be taken. Oh. If you like the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Fire any comments or questions in the box below. I've done other videos in this topic, including how to sanitize your money and how to enter buildings safely 
whilst avoiding cross-contamination. I'm trying to help as much as possible given the crisis that we're all in. If you have any comments or questions, please fire them in the box below. And it would really help us if you liked and subscribed to the channel. Carl here from Cleaning How To with a quick video tutorial on how to sanitize your clothes. Thanks for watching.